On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, I'm having the worst week of my life. Because of me. <laughs> uh, we also discuss how to deny free drinks from a Deliveroo driver. I'm also about to interrupt this podcast with a pretty magical surprise. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and magical mother, Lisa. Oh, oh magical. Say hello, hello Mum. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Deep down, I've always been a Mummy's Boy at heart, and in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with Mum <laughs> and receive some much-needed advice that only a mother can give. Mm. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities, these are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. True. So I'm here to help her before the modern world leaves her behind. Thank you, darling. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. Oh, so if you're in need of advice or just have a question or story that you're desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? Oh, Arthur, I think we might need to, <laughs> don't you, dear? Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Thank you welcome, for joining welcome. me, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to tell Mum. everybody that my son is just the hour late. Yes. On this I... glorious day. Oh, dear. I would have been more if you hadn't called me as well. Yes, I know. Um, oh, God, Arthur. <laughs> it's, it's been, Poor baby. I, it's so annoying. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed because I, I had such a shit week last week. You it's did. Monday. We recorded it on a Monday we m- morning, which we don't normally do. No. Um, and I was. I went to bed so optimistic that I was going to sort my life out today. Like oh, Literally, like, I was going to be like, in the morning, I'm going to write all these things down. That I'm going to just do, and I'm become become an organised machine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get woken really? up. I start my life. <laughs> I get oh. woken up by being like, "Yeah, you're meant to be at the podcast." And I just was oh. like, "Oh my god." Oh, Arthur. Yeah. Oh, poor my, my poor Arthur. Yeah. I know you have um, had a bit of a ropey old time, yeah, haven't you? Yeah. But all is well. You're yes. here. Mummy's here to look after you. Yes. And everything will be fine. I know you're in a really bad mood. Well, no, not even no. just a but No, you're not in a bad Great. mood. You're just, Great you know, mood. it's, I know. Yeah. But you'll Hello. be okay. <laughs> 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 Hello. Oh. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Oh, look, Arthur. Hello. Oh, look, Arthur. What's wrong? That's Gosh, you've gone up. red. Oh, oh sh- my poor Hello. boy. Hello. Hi. Oh, you are going to get up. Oh, that's nice. You're full of beans this morning, aren't you? Oh, my poor boy. Oh, no. What's wrong? My poor boy. Lisa, hold on, Arthur. Lisa, so lovely to see you again. (laughs) Oh, Max, so lovely to see you again. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, why this? Like, there's so many people. Is this your entourage? So many people. So many. So there's there's a reason why I'm here, Arthur. (laughs) Because (laughs) your lovely mother and I, We've been doing some filming together. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. Yes, we have. Yes, yes. Yes. Any fans? Well, I mean... Oh, well, we could do that next. We could do that next. I mean, do you know what? Your mother has seen quite a lot of me. <laughs> I have. I yeah. have, actually. Both, M- more, both. more than is probably, you know, mm, suitable. Stop this. What's going on? So, I decided <laughs> that I would give your mother a little gift, a little surprise. <laughs> so, lucky. two weeks ago, we went and did... <laughs> 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 two weeks ago, we went and did this... Roll oh, the oh, roll oh, the put video. Your, put, your oh, put, put your helmet. Put your helmets on. Oh, helmets on. Oh, Left, God. right. Wait a minute. So where do you think? Uh, before we play, where do you think that is? What do you think that is? Is that? It looks like a sh- like a basement of a comedy club or some sort. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, well, Could be. That's close. Which is where your comedy belongs. Yeah. In a basement. <laughs> in a basement. Oh, oh he's, he's getting on a very big toy, grumbly. He's, on a big he's getting very <laughs> grumbly, isn't sorry, he? Sorry, sorry, okay, sorry. well, let's let's roll the VT. Ah, this is oh. horrible. Let's roll the VT. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Oh, my God. Here he is. Look at him. But who am I with, <laughs> no. Arthur? <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> No way. <laughs> so, this is me. Who am I with, Arthur? 
This is oh, it's magic mic. It's all the mic. It's yeah, it's, the it's, magic it's, mic. it's the magical Michaels. Oh, this you, you better stay there. Please stay on stage, Max. Oh, please, steady. for me. Oh. Well, here, here we go. Please, no. There he goes. Oh, it's Mr. Olympia, he's back. Hey, Look at oh, that. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. oh. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Indeed. So I performed. <laughs> So I performed with Magic Mike to one person in the audience, and that person being your mother. It was me! Because, Arthur, you messaged me after Mr. Olympia saying that I had a terrible body. Oh, so I decided no, no. that I actually think I look quite beautiful, actually. You do. You I, have, right, I yes. have the most unique physique. Yes. So I decided to get you back by performing with Magic Mike <laughs> to just your mother. <laughs> Hey, that when I said well. I was on the verge of a breakdown this morning. Is it coming? Oh. Is it coming now? Oh, bless you, Arthur. But do you oh, know what? Darling. No. You're a wonderful sport. Oh. You'll never say anything like that no. ever again. <laughs> 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 and your mother really enjoyed oh. Magic Mike. I had a you lovely see, day. Very sad that it was it was ending. Yeah, well, it, it was too short. Well, so I, had, I was I, expecting I, more to come off. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm glad there wasn't a lap dance of any kind. So am I. I'm glad there was oh, some kind of yeah, no, no, bound. two meter COVID there were distance boundaries. going on there. There were boundaries. <laughs> bring back social <laughs> bring, distancing. Bring back social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> or restraining orders. <laughs> or one of the two. <laughs> Uh, he was brilliant, wasn't he? Yes, yes you were good. I did actually pull my hammy. I literally had to oh, did you? <laughs> the did next you? day I had a swollen ear, I couldn't walk. Oh, God. bless. But, yeah, Poor I know. little it thing. Was, it was great. But, Better than yeah. pulling my mum, at least. <laughs> I was well and truly pulled. pulled some, my some of those, some of those boys, my release. Oh, they, they were lovely. They were lovely. They were lovely. God. One in particular. Yeah, I had to have a bit of a crush on. <laughs> ding ding. <Yeah. laughs> oh yeah, of course you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you really don't know how to feel. You don't know how to feel. Do you not? I feel great. I feel great. You feel great. I, yeah. I was just taking yeah. your mum up for a great night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine how hard it's been for me not to yeah, tell you? Mental. Yeah. Really hard. But I guess now I'm here. Should we just have a chat? Is that that you? Oh no. You think you can come on my podcast after that? Absolutely. <laughs> That's a great way to get on. I'm going to nearly lap dance on your mum and yeah. then just sit and on your pod. Yeah. He was nowhere near yeah. me. Oh, no. With a live audience. <laughs> Yay! Yes, look at them all. How marvellous. Wow. Yeah. So I'm, I'm confused. When this all happened, mm. did you know who uh, Max is? Oh, no. 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 I, I got a text, a random text one night. Got text. Got text. While I was watching telly. Tell and it said something along the lines of, hello. Actually, it was really sweet. It said, hello, I'm Max <laughs> Fosh, a fellow YouTuber. And I thought, oh, Ooh, am I a oh, YouTuber? Oh, nice, that's smooth. <laughs> that smooth yeah. So that was smooth. <laughs> um, I wonder if George has mentioned anything to you about getting together to do something. And I'm like, no, I don't George. know what you're Narrator, on Narrator, George had not no, mentioned yeah, anything. No, no, obviously not. No. So Because I in my opinion, I thought it'd be easier if George had like, yeah. you know, soften the blow rather than be like, hi, um, can I strip for you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I was hoping George had done, you know, a bit of the groundwork, that. That, yeah. that, but George, George, George yeah, yeah. hadn't. No. Surprise, um, surprise. Yeah. So, yeah, we just started texting each other and yeah. it went from there. Wow. Since February, you've been chatting yeah. to my mum. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Take it slow. Take, take, take it nice slow. In the talking slow. stage, and suddenly you're in the stripping stage. So, yeah, yeah, it was um, it was very cool. So yeah, it but I always, cool. I always have to whenever I'm kind of pitching new ideas, I always have to give people a kind of bit of a rundown of the back catalogue of what of I do, mm. um, because otherwise it's it's very difficult to convince somebody to do something like that. Mm. Oh, it wasn't difficult to convince me. Oh, right, oh, okay. Come on, there we go. No, it wasn't. lady. In fact, I didn't. I mean, I did look you up, and and I, well, actually, I mentioned it to Charlotte. Arthur's sister. Did she know who he was? Of course she did. Damn it. And she yeah, she came out with a few things. And then I did watch one video. Is that the word? Video. It video? <laughs> it's not a video, is it? Yes, I watched it, one. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. One is it? moving image. Of one one MP4. I watched one of those on the way to Magic Mike. Oh, yeah. I watched the one where you were playing the triangle. Yes. Oh, good. And one. I very thought, good oh, one. that's very good. Yeah. yeah and played... that's kind of similar. Yeah. yeah. You, would, you, would, you, would like, you would like Max's videos, I think. Yeah, yeah, would I? They're yeah. sort of short and sweet and unique. And <laughs> the best thing about them, they're short. They're short. Well, at least I understand them, which yeah. is more than I Innovative. do for a lot of the it's other ones. It's just a lot of silliness, basically. Mm. Anything that we can yeah. do which is silly um, yes. and uh, and this I think I met so. you on the video. Oh, no, I didn't. I met you before. We, met, we met playing football, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, Damn. that old I thing. was on, uh, Max made me and others. Oh, yeah. I can't think of the word. Not sw- what's the we word? We had a Lilo, Lilo race. Lilo race in the Olympic swimming pool. And I came dead last. <laughs> yeah. did, oh, did you? I forgot how to swim. Yeah. Oh. I, I hired out yeah. the Olympic swimming pool and I thought, what could I do with the Olympic swimming pool? It's like, let's have a it's Lilo great. race. I bet no one's ever done oh, this. Oh, no. what fun. So we all t- it was fun. Very the fun. issue was is that I had been told that we had, well, that I told everyone that the race was at 10 a.m., for example. Yeah. But what I didn't realise is that we actually had the pool until 10 a.m. So the public oh. then were, the public, <laughs> were, the, oh, no. the public were then allowed in the pool at 10.01 a.m. So oh. everyone arrived, you know, 9.55, you know, ready for the 10 a.m. like race as I had instructed. But oh. I was just basically telling right people, like, just I, hello, in. hi, get your clothes off, get that and just get go. Get in and go. And so about halfway through the race, people just like, the members of the general were just <laughs> dipping themselves into the pool. And these um, maniacs on live. Yeah. Whilst, whilst Arthur was scrabbling around. Yeah, I really... That rings pizza a bell. Slice. Haven't we had somebody on who got yeah, there so late? Yes, I met w- what Willie Cooks. What Willie Cooks? At that. He got there late. And really upset him. And, and then I, now That's I'm right. You tend to upset a lot of I know. people. God, it's really oh, an Arthur. outing. It it's is. more of an intervention, isn't it? Mm. Yes. What Willie Cooks. What yes. Willie Cooks, yes. So, yeah, there you go. But so, yeah, now I feel very much... I'm part of yeah, it you now. Are, you will be. I'm in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I had a lovely afternoon out. Yeah. yeah. You know, I had a lovely time. Was that the actual It was magic, at actual at Magic Mike. the actual place. Wow. Uh, we could probably cool. get you tickets if you'd like to yeah, go to Magic no. Mike. Well, I wouldn't go with you. No, that, I wouldn't would want to weird, go with you. Right? I have weird. been invited to go mm. and, and, and experience an entire show. God. So, I'd recommend. I have been as well. It's yeah, quite but, raunchy. It's quite raunchy. Really? I know. I'm not sure I could cope. No. We should go to a play instead. A play. Some Shakespeare. Should have been a bit yeah. Oh, Chekhov. Yeah. I prefer Chekhov to Shakespeare. I never get Shakespeare. No one really. does. No, they don't, do they? No, no one understands. They're all lying. They're all lying. Yeah. I do think that. I do. But like Judy Dench, just well, she like she knows it. it all off by the scenes. She gets it. No, but she, she's Judy does she Dench. really, though? Yeah. I didn't realise until recently Judy Dench is basically completely blind. And so she, she, she yes. has to have all of her lines read to read her. Read to her. Really? And mm. learns them like that. I mean, amazing, isn't it? Mm. She's quite cool. Oh, yeah. she's a marvel. But three pints, maybe? <laughs> what? Three pints? I'm going I'm to let yeah, Arthur yeah, just yeah, sit, yeah, and, sit and really that. just think about that. Uh, three pints I'd of actually, what? I'll, I'll, maybe zero. Arthur is suggesting that he would, he would need three pints of lager to then want to have copulations with Judy Dench. <laughs> oh, I sit. Oh, God. Arthur, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I thought I was going to go. No, no. I, oh. I watched something. I think it might have a been video? Arthur TV. It was a video, video with Arthur TV and George Clark. 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 And they were discussing older women. And I do believe Arthur TV said he would. Judy Dench. National Trash. In was fact, it Judy Dench? No, I, I think, think it was, was Judy, Judy Dench. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They were talking about what, what is too old. And Arthur TV said nothing is too old. Personality. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Bless uh, him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't need three pints. Not, oh, my God, she's, she's got to be. She's in her 90s. She's mm. now doing, I quite like it because she's yes, now so. doing kind of like compare the market ads. <laughs> she is, mm. isn't She's she? really yeah. phoning she it in. She's sorting out. She was offered seven figures for compare the market. So she was like, yeah, fine. You would. The great kids' wills just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, absolutely. And I saw old David Attenborough turned up for Wimbledon. Wim- Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Mm. And um, I mean, he just, he's, yeah. how old is he? He's nearly a hundred. Mm. He's very sprightly. Mm. Mm. He shimmied on and sat Sh- down. Did he shimmy? He shimmied. Yeah, I do, I remember he was like that, wasn't he? Uh, he was like that. Walking to the Royal Box. And on the way here today, sorry, is it all right? I'm just rambling. What? On the way here today, I watched another video on my phone of um, Robbie Williams. Oh, he oh was at Hyde dear. Park. He was oh, at Hyde Park. I didn't Park. know, otherwise I, I would have gone. I didn't realise it was him at first. I was like, who's that grey-haired old he man? He looks like a badger. Yeah. Because he's oh, got like, a, not like a white... He's my yeah. hero, though. I watched I his... I no he... Robbie Williams slander. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't get it. Is that, like, did, you, you, did you get your tattoos because you want to look like Robbie no, Williams? No, no, I sort of... Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. Oh, I don't... I don't kind of, that makes I me depressed. I think I am going to look like Robbie Williams. No, you're not. No, I won't allow it. But but probably, like... A quarter of the streams when it's all said and done as well. Um, I don't think but, that hey, matters, Arthur. I'm sure you've covered this in the podcast before, but I want to know what Lisa's reaction was when you got your first tattoo. Oh, yeah. oh. I can't actually remember. what was your first? Oh, your it first was one the was Springbok horn. Yeah, was when he was in South or when you came back South from, Africa. from South Africa. Mm. Um, 
I quite liked that. I didn't mind that at you all. You keep saying you're going to get one. I do keep you saying get I'm going to get one. But I'm I'm still waiting for someone to take me up on it. One of our lovely listeners. What, a free tattoo? But yeah, I want a free one. Because I'm just funny like that. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. Really, you, uh, how expensive tattoos? Like I don't 50 know. quid? Yeah, oh, yeah like they? a small one would be, yeah. Oh, would it? Mm. But I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go There's to get millions. it done. I don't want to oh, go. I, mean, I, I know, know there are. People, I know people. I've got connections. Have you? Have you? you could tattoo one else on free. Sure, yeah, for me. Yeah. Okay. What well, would you so get together? I'd like something on my wrist. I'd like like a oh, yeah. a bracelet type thing. Oh, you see, but apparently that's now. Well, no, no, you know, I it's just so, gone. No, do you mean a tattoo of a bracelet? Yes. Mm. But then there's part wouldn't of me it be that covered by by bracelets? By bracelets? No, because then I wouldn't have to wear bracelets because they really annoy me. They oh, clank. Oh, I see. Is it you get a silver tattoo, would you? No. No. Oh. Oh. So you'd oh, get a black sort of ring around your wrist and just say it's a bracelet. Okay, well, it's obviously a bad idea. No, no, no. So I, I just, you've got to think to about these things. Because, you know. He's, he's got relaxed tattooed yeah, on his exactly. chest. Yeah, exactly. I don't, yeah, exactly. I don't want people so to what feel does he how know? I feel. He's also got time. a really weird baby in a pushchair. I do. Where's he's that? a fat child in a pushchair. A fat actually. child in a pushchair. Push yeah. Old enough to run, old enough old to enough fire to a gun. Fire a gun. And you say, Is that one of your lyrics? No, it's Shakespeare. Oh. No, it's Chekhov. It's, no, it's, it's everything, Chekhov's everything. Baby. It's everything, everything. <laughs> it's Chekhov's baby. Anything, what he really Everything, wrote? everything. They're very good, oh, that's very right. Good yeah, band. Jack likes them. We saw them together. Producer Jack. Did uh, you? Big Did weekend. You? Yeah. Oh, that weekend. Radio One's big weekend. Radio One's big weekend. Oh, that yeah. weekend. Radio One's big weekend. Oh, okay. On yeah. BBC Sounds Music BBC Radio Podcast. Yes. yes. Oh, God. You're very good, aren't you? Yes. Wow. They love that You would be good on radio. Yeah, that, that was that was yeah. my that was my goal. That You've was, got a good face for radio. Yeah. He was. I was. Uh, I, I, I was rude. the 2016 <laughs> Hospital Broadcasting Association's best newcomer across oh. the country. Were you? That's yeah. Great. So what I, hospital? Um, I was in Radio Tyneside, which is up in the northeast. It, it delivered yes. uh, to the sixth hospital in the northeast of Northumberland area. Um, the tough RV. crowd, to be fair. Yeah, tough crowd. Yeah. Um, I nearly got fired because I played one morning. I was on the breakfast show, you know, work my way out. And um, <laughs> I, I played um, ACDC's Highway to Hell. Oh, marvellous. Which to patients in hospital. Oh, patients. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, that's not good. It's is not it? something you want to hear. Um, no. And if you know Highway to Hell, it starts with a da na na and they go silence, da na na. And that's perfect for the radio because you can you can talk oh, in the little yeah. silent oh, yes. bit. Like, da na na. Radio Tyneside, da na na. Max Bosch in the morning, da na na. Here we go, da na. And I thought it was great. And then I was pulled into the office <gasps> by my boss, Dave. And Dave was a lovely man. And he said, Max, what did you play this morning? Oh, I don't know. Is that what you played? Highway to Hell. Mm. We're an easy listening station. <laughs> oh. But that was his issue. The fact that it was an easy listening station. Oh, that I it wasn't that it was wasn't the lyrics. I still no. haven't had it in a funeral and I can't believe it. So, well, it would, so it be would a Stairway to Heaven one. be okay? Oh, Stairway I think, to Heaven yeah. I have had. But Highway to Hell, I think, would be a really cool song at the end of a mm. funeral. Yeah. Maybe I'll have it at mine. With the coffin coming out. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. As it goes through yeah. the hatch. I'd I need to think about my funeral song. No, you really don't. Not yet. The way things are going. Could you play one of your own songs? That would be Dead funny. Dead in the I disco. Just, no, no I did are. think, I did think, because I was unfortunately watching a funeral from home oh, last yes, week. Oh, yes, you were. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> good stuff, good streaming. It's on mm. Netflix, I think. It just came out. Yes. Um, and I was like, I would love in my later years, if I think I'm sort of approaching death, mm. make like an EP specifically for the funeral, really? only to be played at the funeral, at the but funeral. Fun funeral themed. Right. Maybe like it starts with like banging and I'm like, I'm still here. Oh, I see. So like people panic. Oh. Good. And then lights. And th yeah. And then it's Fuck. like, who's going to do the fucking next poem? <laughs> <laughs> Will it be any good? I'll think of rhymes. At the, yeah, like, I hope uh, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think you just we yeah. work on that. Yeah. And, well, I've got plenty uh, of time, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. If, the if, problem is you never know. You might you die this afternoon. Yeah. And that's the nice. problem with um, planning funerals. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But hey, sorry to bring down. So, the... Radio Tyneside um, <laughs> uh, was a yes, great start no. <laughs> to, uh, to to my career. I mean, yeah, well, I thought getting the getting the hospital gig meant meant yeah, that's a sure far well, away I then, to Radio I then, One. You know, isn't it? Well, I, well, I kind of thought Radio One was that was the dream, and so I was like, okay, right. So I've won the Hospital Broadcasting Association Best Newcomer. Like here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here come the offers. Yes. Yeah. Um, I got I got one demo audition with uh, BBC Radio Newcastle, which, as you can imagine. For my demo, they're like, welcome back to BC Radio Newcastle. Yeah. We've got Max here today. Yes. 
hello, good to see you. <laughs> yes, hello, um, everybody. I, I didn't get the job, as oh. you can imagine. Um, mm. And so then I thought, right, I'm going to try and be a radio presenter. So I moved down to London and still doing radio. And I thought I would then print my CV on the roof of my car. And then I, of parked, it, I parked it outside Radio 1. Um, to, Did you? To try, and yeah, and actually, it got it got them, it got, got me noticed. Well, um, yes. And they then eventually called the police on me. They didn't ask me to move off; they just called the oh, police. How weird! Um, and then two years later, I got a call from the station manager. Basically, they were obviously trying to fill spots over Christmas, so they said, "Do you want to <laughs> oh, come yeah, the do... Christmas Day thing?" Yeah. Yeah, yeah, have you done that? No, I haven't. That's how, no. The TikTok no, takeover. Yeah, yeah, the TikTok. Ta- yeah. And so oh they're like, God. "Do you want to do one hour on Christmas Day?" And I thought. Fine. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I relived, I kind of achieved my dream of being on Radio 1. But after that, I kind of thought that radio was not, not the world for me and that YouTube really? was much sillier. And, oh, yeah. okay. Um, and so that's what that's what we did. Oh, you've obviously got a very warped brain, haven't you? Oh, no, absolutely. that's not the right word. Warped. warped. No, not warped. Um, scrambled. Very, scrambled and creative is probably mm, better. Fine. Yeah. You know, well, who, how, how, mm. how did you come up with the idea of putting your CV on the roof of a I car? Know. I mean, well, that just would never occur to there me. Was a bill, there was a reason why I saw a guy in like two. 2009 after the financial crash he spent his last like 500 pounds on a billboard that said like hire jack it was just a picture of him (laughs) and it like went quite viral on the internet and he got a job so i thought why don't i just do my own version of that so it's all yeah it's all like yes anding Mm. it's all about just just building a little bit more yes and yeah so with with an idea you got a yes yes yes, take it and And... addition Right. Just, just build on it. Build it's all about it. building. Okay, that's better. Yeah, Thank that's you. Better. Seeing someone else and be like, I can do that better. But right. okay. I can see someone performing with Magic Mike. Yeah. To my friend's mum. To my friend's mum. Yeah. There you go. You should have tied it to your mum. That would have been a bit odd. Yeah, that would have but been a bit like odd. it's like the your mum joke, you know? <laughs> you can hire me if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> I think you stick to the, 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 the funeral song. <laughs> I don't know what he's oh. on about. Yeah. Thank God. It's mummy's boy. Um, right. Yeah. Right. Are you ready for literally the nation's favourite game? Yeah. The, it, it, they go right wild over this. They do. Yeah. yeah wild. Um, from Barrack upon Tweed to <laughs> Truro Dorset. <laughs> That's not true. Cool. 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 Somerset. Somerset. Yeah. Somerset. yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, good stuff. Anyway. Um, two lies in the truth. Mm. Mm. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. For that scrambled warp brain of yours. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Uh, well, I am. So, Mum. Yes. Which of the following statements about Max is true? Oh, golly. A. Max spent the first six years of his life believing he could speak to animals. <laughs> B. Max has a master's degree in biochemical engineering. Oh, God. C. Max is a professional trained ballet dancer. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> right. Oh, Okay. Mm. I mm. think they're probably all true. Uh, but, well, I'll have to think about that in the break, won't I? Wow, yes. We got, so have we much got time, time for a break, break today? Oh, yeah. We've got time, one. producer Always. Jack, to have a break. Legally, we have to. Can't yeah, work more than 20 yeah, minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't talk for more than 20 minutes straight. No. Okay, then. Let's go for a break. Yeah, okay. See you in a minute, then. Let's go to the playground. Okay. Off we go. Yeah. Zip, zip, zip. It's mummy's boy. Oh, what a break. Oh, One of my favourites ever. Mm. Um, and <laughs> mum has been racking her brain. I have. Oh. Over these three statements in two lies and truth. Yes. A, yes. Max spent the first six years of his life believing he could speak to animals. Mm. B, Max has a master's degree in biochemical engineering. And C, Max is a professional trained ballet dancer. Okay. Well, so I, I have seen Max de Hans. Mm. Mm. So I don't think it's C. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to make a decision. Make a decision. I'm going to say that the true um, thing. I think it's. I think it's. Um, what do you think it is, Arthur? <laughs> um, oh, I couldn't possibly say. Oh, for heaven's sake! Come on. I'll. I'll. I'll say. Um, I'll say A for the. You'll say for, A. Yeah, I'll say A. Say A. I'm going to say B. <laughs> it was, in fact, I am a professional ballet dancer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I genuinely am a You're professional You're bloody not. Because I have been paved to perform in the Birmingham Royal Ballet. 
No. Yeah. So as a university. <laughs> as what? Yeah. As well as as guard number one and villager number two. No, oh, not yes. villager number two. <laughs> I know that's the role. Oh my god, that's what god, really I could, wants. you know, but. So I was at Newcastle Uni, and we, there was a casting call <laughs> for men over the over the height of six foot. Because they wanted, uh, the, the Birmingham Royal Ballet were doing a tour of Romeo and Juliet and they were performing in Sunderland for a week. As they do. And so I kind of put through my name into the proverbial uh, ring and oh. I got a call being like, hi, do you want to come down for a fitting? So I went down oh. to the Birmingham, to the, the Sunderland Empire, thousand, huge, huge <laughs> venue. Huge. And I, <laughs> I got fitted for a costume. And then the next thing, the, the next day where I was on and I was on two, in two scenes where I would have to play the villager and then yes. a priest. Her. Oh, a priest. Um, it was, yeah, it was villager number two and it was a priest, I think. And I basically had to stand at the back and just be an extra, but I was paid for my time on wow. stage. And actually it was fascinating to see because ballet dancers, they're obviously such incredible athletes, but they, mm. are, they also get quite bored because they've been doing the same show for months and months on end so I'm sure Lisa you'll, you'll, you'll remember this from your performing days mm. they played all sorts of games on stage with each other <laughs> oh dear um, so oh one dear. of them was the 50p game so at the beginning of the show one of them would have a 50p in their hand and they would pass that 50p around to each other on stage wow. during the show and whoever had the 50p at the end of the show had to like buy a round of drinks or had to buy dinner that's so fun oh, um, how brilliant and so that you, you they'd palm it off and if you were given it on stage by somebody that's shaking your hand or something like that you had to take it so you couldn't refuse it how cool um, and so I just saw them just running around with this 50p and you would have no idea it was going on no they were slipping into the back of each other's shorts oh, God. they were um, did you have to get a big cod piece I didn't have to wear a cod piece but my um, word I swear they just get bigger and bigger word. it's enormous really? they wear like a cricket box when they're yeah. on stage yeah. yeah I'm not sure why, why. Well, I suppose it. I suppose it must be considered to look attractive, or like a, a lo the risk of a loose have, ballet kick. We, maybe. Mm. Well, not you just don't. Also, want, it just looks smooth. They look like an action man. Kind of, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, but they were also kind of, they were chat, They talked about all sorts. They were like, oh, what should we do after? Should we get a Nando's? Yes. And then they're suddenly in and they're just <laughs> running from the back. <laughs> should we get a It was like, should we get an, a medium of lemon and herb? And then they're just like, <laughs> yeah. And so I was kind of stood as like apples and tomatoes, right. madam. Oh, that was. Did you, did you had a you had I a didn't line. have any lines. <laughs> no, there aren't any lines in Romeo and Juliet. There aren't any I lines in the, ballet. in the ballet. It's like, my oh, yeah, lord, look at her oh, plants. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oysters, clams, <laughs> oysters, clams, and potatoes, <laughs> my lord. Um, oh, so how yes, marvelous. I am. So I was paid to perform with the Birmingham Royal Ballet, so I can call myself a professional ballet you dancer. You absolutely can. Absolutely. Well. How splendid. Splendid indeed. Well we should do done, some kind of YouTube man. pantomime. We've talked about no, doing no, a pantomime. No, no, we shouldn't. Oh, oh yes, yes, we, we should. should. We have you talked about <laughs> doing... About, uh, yeah, that. We have talked about that. Have You've we? forgotten. But yeah, we have. Mm. With other guests and people. And well, we said I think we it could do be good. One. I think we definitely need to do one. Mm. Mm. It would be marvellous. Rufus Rice is going to be the back of the cow. Oh, yes, of course. And then you could be the front. Mm. It'd be a very posh cow. Face for a cow. Very mm. posh cow. Yes. <laughs> Ew, moo, my lady. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> moo, moo, moo. Yeah. Um, uh, wow. Well. The nation's favourite game. You can see why. Yeah. yeah. Really Scintillating can. stuff. But yeah. now it is time for Mum, Can We Talk? Oh, yeah. um, whoopee. Are you ready for I'm some Mum, sure. Can We Talk correspondence? Yeah, are you ready though, Max? Um, yeah, I'm ready. If you're not aware, Max, this is just where our listeners, viewers send in embarrassing stories questions um pretty revolutionary segment i mm. say um don't know anyone else doing it are we ready <laughs> yes. question one from alice alice hello arthur lisa i recently moved into a new apartment as i'm very lazy and also never have time to cook i've been ordering takeaway a lot the oh. same driver has been delivering them to me for months oh and every the time same driver? i know that is weird that's very odd must isn't it? be a independent mm. uh, establishment. And every time he gives me a free Fanta with my food. I see. It's really kind of him. But now my <laughs> fridge is full of Fanta. The oh. problem is I'm allergic to oranges, so I can't <laughs> drink them. But it is too late to tell him that as he's been giving me them for months. <laughs> Any advice as to what I should say to him or as to what on earth I could do with so much Fanta other than drink it? Well, uh, unless, mm. unless he's coming into the flat and opening the fridge... He doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't need to know. No. He doesn't. He doesn't. 
But um, my question would be, why Why is he giving her a free Fanta? And, and is he gorgeous? And should she be... Well, Alice has been very considerate of this delivery yes. driver. She is. Yeah. She is. I'd give them to a local, you know, um, food bank or something. Or put... Does, does Mentos work with Fanta as well when you do that? We'll just tell into a science like, so, experiment. So, yeah, like when he next knocks on the door, line them up. <laughs> like all of them at the door. As like, in like a Fanta some kind throne. of cannon. Yeah, and then he and he gives in like I don't like Fanta. Put all the Mentos in. I'm imagining this in like slow motion, by Are the way. You? So they're they're in her hand. Are they? And she'll go like, Phew. but they'll all perfectly fall into the Fanta bottle lids. I don't know what he's talking about. And then they'll they'll shoot. Do you know what's what happens mento? when Mentos no, hits what's Fanta? Oh my about? god! Oh. When the, the Coke and Mentos challenge, well, we should do that. We should no. do it. Well, in twenty, tw- in, in, 20 I have to say, in twenty eleven, this had the internet in a chokehold. Twenty yeah, eleven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh lord! Yeah. Um, it was around then, before, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Before you were internet savvy, <laughs> uh, which you are now. <laughs> yes, it I'm, basically yeah. makes it like explode. Does it? Yeah. Um, oh. So they would shoot. I see. Actually, it wouldn't work, so it would shoot the other way. No, Arthur, that's Shit. a stupid idea. Um, anyway, clip that. No. So I think, basically, either start setting up a Fanta limited company where you're selling Fanta, um, or <laughs> you... I mean, you could just... It, uh, or you could just ask for lemon Fanta. Well, yes. When he gives it to you, do you have any other flavours? Mm. Yes. Or just tell him. I'm just sure he'll just him. be like... I think I'd just tell oh, him. Oh, I've been giving it to you for months, but yeah. And yeah. that would be it. <laughs> yeah. Probably, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 How many, how many can she really have? She can't be having that many takeaways, can she? How often do you cook? I'm, I'm semi-regular. That sounds like a bowel movement. Uh, yeah, 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 it really like, does. Like, <laughs> yeah. like most, most nights I'll cook something, yeah. Uh, George, however. <laughs> no. Insane. It's incredible. We, me and, so me, I think we spoke about this before, but me and Chris, when we moved in in October last year, we were like, it, it was like a month in, we hadn't seen him use a pan or like, he's, he can put stuff <laughs> in the oven, pretty, pretty impressive. Oh, clever boy. Um, But we haven't used, like, used a pan or like season anything or do anything like that. And we were like, oh. we made a bet as to when he'll first do it. Right. And I was like, I think he'll do it before Christmas. Right. And Chris was like, no, I'm going to give it till February. Um, and he, it happened in January, like the first. So I was technically closer. You were. Um, but that's, in, and he's, I, we haven't seen him do it again. Oh. He got scarred. He, yeah. Mm. Like, I, yeah, it's mental. Oh, it's dear. insane. Because he's just never, he's never but, really cooked before. But does he get takeaways or does he just No, yeah, eat? he gets so many takeaways. Does so he? many deliverers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, how old is he? How old's George? He's 24 now. Yeah, you can do that when you're 24, can't you? Can you? Can you? I'm pushing 30 and suddenly it all, it all suddenly starts piling up mm. down there. Down Metabolism. There. I would never comment on that. No. No. <laughs> no. Because I'm, I'm, I, I think I've hit 25 and suddenly I'm I'm putting on the pounds. Mm. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah. From this very successful podcast. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Well, Let's move so, on from yeah, Fanta and on. fatness. Um, from Fanta. Adam. Oh, boy. Hi, Arthur and Lisa. How do I... And Max, so it's not there, but we'll pretend. <laughs> How do I persuade my parents to let me move to London to pursue my passion of making movies? Oh, my gosh. Any advice? Wow. <sighs> How did well, I mean, P.S. Old? Love you guys. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I did miss oh, that. Thank sorry. God you're here. Poor Adam. I know. Poor Adam. Love you too, Adam. So I don't um, think, I don't think, Adam, you need to be in London to make movies no. or videos. Good point. Or, or MP4s. Or moving image. Um, <laughs> the pictures. The pictures. Thank the you. darkies. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I mean, bigger the pictures. Um, and so I think just the most important <laughs> thing is you just create, you're making. Yeah. You're constantly doing. Yeah. And I think if you want, or you blackmail your parents. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm. I move to London. That. Yeah, just buy a camera first, you know, and just see what you can make. I, he what sound, you it said. sounds more to me like he just wants to leave. He wants to move out, and he doesn't know how to. And he's using that bit as a, an excuse. That's what I think, Adam. What the movies? Yeah. Well, you're saying his passion is an excuse. No, I'm saying <laughs> his he's, passion. Why does he need his parents' permission to move out to London? He's Unless eleven he's years only... old. Oh, for heaven's sake! We don't Sorry, know how old he is. We don't yeah. know how old he is. No. Do we? I guess you need. So, you do kind of need your pet. Do you? No, don't. I don't know. Well, but, yeah. but as I say, it depends on how old mm. he is. Because he can make movies from wherever he is. Well, says she. I've got a clue. But, you know, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's a polite question. It's mum, mummy, daddy, yeah, look, I papa, want to make, mama. Ma- mama. I want to make movies. <laughs> mama, I want to be, be a big director in London. <laughs> I want to be a star. I want to move down. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. just walk down with a massive cigar one morning <laughs> yeah. and say, mum, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to be a star. So <laughs> ultimately, it's, yeah. okay. it's communication. It's putting all the ducks in the rows. Yeah. So it's the easiest way for them to say yes. Yeah. You find the place. You have the plan. This is what's going to happen. This is how I'm going to do it. And then ultimately, they show, hey, they really thought. I've really thought about this. So mm. I'm going yeah. to. I'm going to. That's very, that's very good, Max. Remarkable. Absolutely. He's good, isn't he? I've got a way of talking Organization. to mums. You Organization. have. Organization. You have. Oh God, I might do some kind of revenge video of some kind. Oh, how can no. I one up you? Or well, could I... there's a question. Oh, right. Ooh, what? Right. What? It's time for our feature is called it? Mum, I've Got Something to Tell You. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. This is where I give our guests the opportunity to have the difficult conversation that they've always put off having with their own parents mm. and have it with my mum instead. Yes. Maybe you broke the TV years ago mm. and blamed it on a sibling or snuck out of the house when she thought you were asleep. Whatever it is, this is your chance to come clean. So, Max. So, I had, I did something when I was probably about 12 years old. My mother recently started to to date again when I was was 12, when I was 12 years old. Okay. And I wasn't a massive fan of all of these, all of these individuals coming, coming by the house. No. So um, there weren't loads of them, there was just one. I was going to say, how many did she have? Yeah, no. So she was dating this new, she was dating this new guy and, and I was, you know, being rebellious and being grumpy about it. And he was coming over to the house and I had been instructed to let him in when he arrived because mum was coming back from work later on in the day. And so he turned up at about three o'clock and I was at home and I was meant to let him in. <laughs> Max. I just pretended that I was asleep. Oh, Max. So I left him outside our home for hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I just wanted to, I thought this is the way that, I, as, a, as like a, as a kid, that this is the way I had like power. little 12 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he was ringing the doorbell, knocking the door, calling the house phone, and I was just pretending. I was like, oh, oh no, sorry, I'm asleep. And so mum came back and, he basically was just sat on the front step outside the, oh, front, the bride's house, outside the house. Him. And I mean, he was like, I mean, I don't know why he stuck around. I would have just gone well, to no, a cafe. I'd have gone but, off. Um, eventually, mum came in and I did the classic thing of like just being, oh, oh, what, what? Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, really sorry. When in actuality, I just really hated him. And so I just didn't wow. want him in the house. Um, so yeah, I, I locked my mum's boyfriend out of out of the house and pretended that I was asleep. Max. But and then I then at Sunday lunch about three weeks later he was then trying really hard to kind of ingratiate himself mm. to me and be like, hey 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 Buster old pal, pal. we can yeah we can go play oh, footy in the park. Yeah. I remember I was having my I, I had my chicken te- my chicken teddies that we got from oh, Sainsbury's. Oh chicken teddies. Chicken teddies. Yeah. It was actually from M and S. I was trying to sound more less less. <laughs> Less, no, no, less sure they weren't Waitrose. No, no, no. It was no, it was M and S did chicken M&S. teddies, and I was very. I just ate chicken teddies, and I was at the dinner. T- I was at the Sunday lunch table, and I went over to him, and he was having his Sunday right of roast that Mum had made, and I kind of I leaned over to him and was like, genuinely, if you think you and my mother will ever be together, think again. Wow. And then just went back to my chicken teddies, and to be fair, six months later he was gone. Wow. Max. Done. But I Got loved, rid of him. I loved him, Max. <laughs> he was going to be... He, he was wasn't right be, for your mum. He was. He wasn't. Well, he would have been if you, I had... Oh, this my is God. Gonna, this is going to be my revenge video. I'm going to lock you out and put them together yeah. in, in the house. <gasps> I would love to see my mum seeing him again. That'd be great. Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, I, I was a bit of a... I was, I was a bit of a nice shocking. But I think it all worked out for the, uh, out for the best because my mum married, remarried a lovely man and they've been together for 15 years. That's true. So, so it's okay. It is. It is we'll okay. You. That's on you. That is on me. That's, That's yeah, because of because me. My chicken one. teddies. It, 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 it was the chicken well. teddies that gave you the oomph. Yeah. yeah. Did you have chicken teddies? I like that idea of you just like ripping actually... the head off while you talk to him as well. This would be you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember having chicken teddies. I've not heard of them. I remember no. having smiley faces, but mm. they were bird's eyes. Do you remember Tally Tubby Toast? No. Was that M and S as well? Yeah, it was M and S. It was like like muff crumpets and God, I can't. I just listen to yourself, Max. Yeah, we got we got we we had a. We had a clip about us talking about dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. And apparently, and that, apparently and it makes like, me a this Tory. This is the most Tory book. <laughs> what, are I like... button, what, what, what? Dark chocolate? <laughs> so, yeah, be careful. So, yeah, be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Now yeah. that people know that you eat 
Chicken teddies. Chicken yeah. teddies. But they discontinued them and I was very upset. And they teddy, do sound nice. Tubby, tubby Are they a whole teddy or the, ted, the, the well, head just, of a teddy? It's literally a chicken nugget in the shape of a teddy bear. Oh, okay, it does sound good. With yeah. arms and legs, not yeah. just the head. With arms and legs. Oh, yeah. with arms and legs. Mm. Well, that'd be so much fun to eat. Mm. Which so bit would you go for? It's like a little stick man. It's like <laughs> no, this is the stuff. Yeah, this yeah, is good stuff. I think I'd go this legs. So, I mean, I, yeah, I was a bit, I was a bit rude about my mum's uh, boyfriend at the time, but, and I locked him out of the house. Mm. But, hey. Okay. Hey, you win some, you lose some. You do. And it worked out best in the end. It worked it out did. for the best. I'm glad. And we've made it to the end. Mm. My God. What there a you are. roller that's, coaster. That's what cheered you up on this rather bizarre morning. Does it look morning? like it's cheered me up? No, actually, you look miserable as sin, but. That's, you, how, you, that's how you cheer a son up. Show a video <laughs> of his mum. Yeah, having a lovely time. Mike. You should be happy for me. Yeah. Mm. I'm, nice I'm so day. glad that, that the distance remained the same. I'm yeah. not sure what I would have done if you were sat on my mum's lap at any they, point. That was not going to happen. Don't be I so don't know. Dark. We did think about it. Yeah, we I'm did. Sure. It, it, sure was, that was, it was something that we wanted sure to happen, that, yeah. but Ma uh, Magical Michael said Magical no, Mike. thank Magical you. Magical Michael said mm. no. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Thank you, Magic Mike. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Magic Mike. <laughs> I can't believe he went to Hogwarts. Hey? Magic Mike. <laughs> He's one of the ghosts. Uh, what? Yes. No. In the third movie, Magic Mike. What's he talking about? Oh, in doing the Grand silly. Hall. In the Grand Hall. Grand Hall? Yeah. Great Hall. I don't Great know what you're talking about. I'm, what? Yes. No, stop it. I know you're mm. messing about with me. Tom Riddle's first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Always remember, new episodes <laughs> drop every Wednesday and Sunday. And oh. if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822 013 837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her um, if you've got anything on. Which yeah. you do, you have a big fuck off tour. I've got a big tour, big big world tour coming up. So if yeah. you are you? From, cool. from Ventura, California to Brisbane, Australia, come on oh. down to the Max Fosh Loophole World Tour. You'll have fun, you'll have silliness and lots of japery. See you there. <laughs> oh, he's great, great isn't he? Good stuff. I've been on the trail, been on the publicity trail. Mm. So what, what do you do in this it's show. basically uh, telling stories of instances that have happened whilst I've been making videos. Okay. So um, all the all the behind the scenes and uh, some uh, unique videos I've made just for the show. Excellent. Excellent Can we come, please? Absolutely. Excellent. Comes with Apollo 20th of October. Huge. Come. Okay, brilliant. Come on down. Humongous Perfect. stuff. Well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodb